If you're trying to eat better and include more fruits and vegetables in your diet, good for you. Yeah, but Ben, it could actually not be so good for you. According to Jennifer Krause, she joins us now from her kitchen to explain. So, Jen, what are we talking about here? Well, you know, guys, fruits and vegetables, they are good for you. And at this time of year, oh, the fruit is so good. But when you're eating things like strawberries and grapes and other fruits and vegetables, you know, you potentially could be putting yourself at risk by consuming harmful pesticides. A healthy diet consists of eating plenty of fruits and vegetables. But some of the chemicals that are often used by produce farmers to help control bugs, fungi, and weeds raise concerns when it comes to your health. Every year, the Department of Agriculture tests a selection of domestic and imported produce for pesticide residues. So our experts analyze seven years of this data. For years, evidence has been building linking pesticide exposure to increased risks of cancer, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. The good news, there's little to worry about in close to two-thirds of the 59 conventionally grown fruits and vegetables reviewed. The bad news, 20% posed a high risk from pesticides. Produce that proved most problematic, conventionally grown versions of blueberries, bell peppers, potatoes, green beans, kale and mustard greens, and watermelons. The Alliance for Food and Farming, a farming industry organization, pointed out to Consumer Reports that more than 99% of foods tested by the Department of Agriculture contained pesticide residues below the Environmental Protection Agency's legal limits. While that is true, the Food Quality Protection Act requires the EPA to apply extra protection when science does not conclusively show that a pesticide is safe for infants and children. But this safety margin has rarely been used. There just hasn't been enough research done on some of these chemicals and the negative health effects they can pose. So our experts took a precautionary approach and applied the FQPA safety factor to certain categories of pesticides, even if the EPA doesn't, to make sure we don't underestimate the risks. So can you really enjoy fruits and vegetables and avoid harmful pesticides? You don't need to totally eliminate higher risk foods from your diet. Remember that the risk, even from the most concerning produce, comes from exposure during vulnerable times, such as pregnancy or early childhood, or from repeated and years-long exposure. Fortunately, our research shows that for the most problematic produce, opting for organic is a great way to reduce the risk. Nearly all the organic produce consumer reports looked at had low or very low pesticide risk. Now, here's the thing, of course, organic tends to be more expensive than non-organic fruit. So, of course, you want to save money, right? So here are ways to do that. Buy in bulk or buy frozen fruit because that tends to be a little less expensive. And, of course, guys, when you see something on sale, stock up. You can eat some now and then the rest freeze and save for later.